can't quite believe I've not made one already, but today we are finally going to recreate Eddie Howe's 433 inside of Football Manager 2024. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're going to go with a bit of a different tactical approach today in the way that I break it down. We've got three variants and you need to get all three to really cope with this tactic. So be sure to stick around for the entire package. Let's get into it. Of course, before we talk tactics, it's got to be the test and you need to make sure you know what you're going to get. And we're going to start off with Newcastle. We enjoyed a really good season. As you can see here, semi-finalists in the Champions League. Unfortunately, Bayern Munich a little bit too strong for us. FA Cup got to the semi-finals and runners-up in that Carabao Cup final, which unfortunately was only a 1-0 loss against Liverpool. So still a really valiant effort and we finish third place in the league, which, you know, no shots fired, but a little bit better than what they're doing at the moment in real life. Obviously, I think in real life, they're struggling to manage that Champions League balance, a lot of injuries, just unlucky to be honest with you, but we were not unlucky. We put on a really good display, Isaac with 40 goals in the Premier League and therefore getting the highest average rating and honestly, really tearing up the Premier League in general, a really strong season, only three points off winning the actual whole thing with Man City, unfortunately, do edge just a little bit there. Now, team stat-wise, we are going to be outscoring City, Liverpool, Manchester United, Arsenal, Villa, Tottenham, and Chelsea. All of the real strong teams in the league we're going to be outscoring obviously, therefore having the most shots at goal. And I will say defensively, we were okay. Fourth place, which is still very good with Newcastle. And it is going to be not the best when it comes to the clean sheets. But attacking wise, we were really, really good. And obviously for a team like Newcastle, you are expecting to concede goals as well as go out and obviously score loads and loads of goals, which does bail you out a little bit in some regard. Now the data hub wise, we'll be looking at 2.87 goals a game, 1.05 conceded with over 19.3 shots a match, a 90% pass completion and a 78% tackle win ratio so yes we are conceding the goal a game but we are scoring upwards towards the free goal mark now there are going to be several tweaks i'm going to tell you about in the tactic breakdown where you can possibly concede a lot less but maybe not score as much that's why you need to get all three of these variants so be sure not just stick around for one and then dip because in today's one especially we're going to focus a lot on how to get this system playing in different teams different situations in quite some detail but let's go and watch a couple of highlights for this newcastle team it's the highlight of the video and we have got two other tests to do which is going to be a powerhouse and an even worse team compared to Newcastle. So I think it's important to show you that we actually performed really well against the best team in the league. We actually beat Manchester City here at home to give us credit, 3-1, and it was actually quite a convincing performance. Yes, a lot of it was done from set pieces, which to be fair would probably be the outcome in real life anyway. That was a very random goal, I will say that. We do get one more to obviously wrap it up in that 3-1 fashion, but just to prove that we can go out and beat the top teams in the league, we've done it with quite quite a bit of ease. Next up is going to be that powerhouse that is going to be Paris Saint-Germain and to be honest we just absolutely took over football we won the French League we battered Bayern in the Champions League final the only thing we didn't win is that French Cup where unfortunately Lille were a little bit too much we do also win the Trophy de Champion in 5-1 fashion over Toulouse but the real key statement is going to be that Champions League an absolute battering against Bayern and the French League again of course quite an easy league with PSG but putting on a remarkable display Colo Mani and Mbappe finishing first and second when it comes to the goals being scored Every single player, first, second, and third, dominating the rating. And we've got three players inside of that assist category as well, which is really good to see. Donnarumma also picking up the most clean sheets. Now, team stat-wise, most points per game at 2.76. Most goals at 97, not far off double the second place. Most shots at 685. The fewest shots against at 132. The most possession at quite a convincing 59%. The fewest conceded and the most clean sheets. So, this is, it goes to show, if you are playing as one of the better teams, the real sort of top team in the league you are going to absolutely obliterate everyone and I do think you can replicate this with Newcastle with a couple of seasons of sort of getting some good players in you know strengthening those weaker areas for example the left back not that good to be honest so there are some obviously weaknesses in that Newcastle team which they are going to need to work on in real life as well but you can do it in Football Manager of course by yourselves by bringing players in Now the data hub is going to still be very very good 2.85 goals a game and talking about strengthening the back line once you have got a really strong defense this is the reality 0.35 conceders, still ripping over 20 shots a game, nearly a 91% pass completion, and a very high tackle win ratio. So you strengthen that Newcastle back line, you could easily replicate that. Champions League final was definitely a talking point. I mean, 6-0 against a full-strength Bayern Munich team. They simply could not hack the Eddie Howe 4-3-3. We got off to a flying start there inside of 13 minutes. It's shocking from Bayern there. We win it back quite high up the pitch, into Emery, into an injured Dembele, and is that Neuer? That is going to be Neuer in goal. I can't click on him. It is Neuer in goal. I'll show you afterwards. He had an absolute stinker. You can see there, Neuer, um, as he did in real life, to be fair, cost them the Champions League. And um, 
you know, at the end of the day, we made it look very easy. But truth be told, Bayern Munich obviously is a very, very good team. But when you've got a team like PSG, you've got a tactic like this. If they get off to a slow start and Neuer again... He's in no man's land. He's so confused at what he's doing. Should he even be on the pitch? I would have taken him off by now as it is goal after goal. This is going to be the sixth one to be exact in a very convincing game against a team which, let's just face it, have got some world-class players in. But if you look at the stats... They may as well not have turned up. And lastly, the biggest challenge of the video, that is going to be testing with Birmingham. A team predicted to finish all the way down. You know it's bad when you've got to scroll down. 17th place where Swansea finished. They were predicted to finish there. We come out and actually win the whole championship. Get an automatic promotion. Above Leeds, Southampton, Ipswich. Where are Ipswich are they? They're now in ninth place. An awful season for them. The FA Cup semi-finalists against Manchester United. I'll take a semi-final. And the quarterfinals, unfortunately, of course, is Villa that knock us out. Bit unlucky there in that regard but overall a really good season and this championship we really did set alight we'll pull up the league table again here only losing four games first and second in the top goal scoring category first and third with the average rating and joint third when it comes to the most assists while John Ruddy the previous Norwich man picks up the most clean sheets now of course team stats are going to be very convincing the most clean sheets are going to be second place by one when it comes to goals conceded Fewer shots against a 328, the most shots over 700, the most goals, which is a very good, very big accomplishment over Norwich, Leicester, obviously Leeds, Ipswich, Southampton, and obviously the most points per game. We really were putting on a display for every single Birmingham City fan. And going over to the Data Hub is going to be really, really impressive. Under a goal conceded, just over two and a half goals scored or two and a half bang on. 15 shots a game, a great pass completion, and a really good tackle win ratio. I believe the highest has actually been, so... A really good display with a very, very low down team. When I talk about beating some big teams and how good this is at doing that, this is the Liverpool team we played in the FA Cup quarterfinals. So yes, there are a couple of players missing, Alisson being the key figure, but still a miles better team than what we put out. And as you can see, we come out and actually win 3-2. Yes, we conceded two goals to be expected against such a powerhouse team, but we got the job done and it is good play from Liverpool. I'm not going to discredit them. It's really good play to obviously get themselves back into the game. And do you know what? I will say... Unfortunately for us right now, we sort of gifted them this goal. As you can see, it's a mistake from Ruddy, so they didn't even really deserve that second goal. But what we did do is we did not give up, and this is why you need all three variants, because I switched, I played this one myself. You switch to the attacking variant, and this is where you are going to see changes. Yes, you're going to be more rumble at the back, but you are going to have a lot more players pushed into that box, and it forces errors like that from Kelleher. And we go out again, and this is right 88th minute, dying enders of the game. We go and we actually win it. I mean, it's unbelievable stuff. And the stats, I will say the stats, I thought they were going to be a little bit more, you know, not as pretty on the eye as that. But we did deserve to win it in the end. It was a close game. But to be fair, beating Liverpool in any fixture with Birmingham, you can't hate it. You can't knock it at all. Now, of course, to your favourite part of the video, it's going to be a proper tactic breakdown today. We're going to actually discuss why and how we made the decisions to use the certain player roles and what I think they bring to the team. Now, please do leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to save yourself a bunch of time, you want to get all three of the tactics in one simple download, you can come over to the Patreon and get other perks, which you can see on the screen. They are going to include the likes of getting the tactics early. You get priority and requests. You get the mobile version, the console version. You get access to the giveaways. You get the rebuild files. You get priority and the rebuild requests. There's so many perks for becoming a Patreon. That's why there's over 4,000 people. You can come and check in the description below. But obviously, it's anyhow. So first off the bat, let's just get one thing straight. It's going to be the Gagan Press. We're going to get that in right away. And we are going to go with a 4-3-3. This is going to be it loaded in then. Obviously, we are going to change things as we go through it. So we are going to start off with changing the goalkeeper to a default sweeper keeper. In my opinion, we don't really, they don't really play with an attacking sort of sweeper keeper. Definitely some form of a sweeper keeper. So I have gone with support. The right back has not been the best this season, but he's still going to play the role to replicate it in Football Manager. A complete wing back, of course, is going to be a Trippier. And he is simply going to be selected to run one wide and cross from the byline as his player instructions. We then opt for two ball playing defenders on the right and the left, simply on the default. The left back is not going to be a wing back, it's going to be a full back who is going to be on support and he is simply going to be told to sit narrower and obviously also tackle harder. First real big change in midfield is obviously scrapping this deep line playmaker and bringing in a register who is simply going to be on the support of instruction. I personally play Bruno here. 
right hand side we are going to introduce a central midfield player on support with some instructions that is going to be get further forwards and roam from position which is going to be a nice sort of hybrid between a player who is going to get in really dangerous pockets of the field will come back and defend as well but is also going to link up that play to the front three and next to him we have gone with a default on attack Mazala so it's a nice mixture of players in that midfield it's quite aggressive quite a fast paced midfield obviously that does represent Eddie Howe's system very intense always on the left, we're going to change this to a supportive winger with some instructions, of course. They are going to be on, let me go on to it, it is going to be set to run wide and get further forwards. The right-hand side, we are going to change things to an inverted winger who is going to be on the support of instruction with two additional things, which are going to be roam from the position and sit narrower. So these wingers are going to offer something a little bit different. On the left, we're going to be running wide because this fullback is not going to be as attacking, not going to be bombing up the field too much. And on this option, we are going to tell him to sit narrower and roam because obviously Kieran Trippier as a complete wing back who is going to be running quite aggressively up that side is not going to want to collide with him so we need this player sort of cutting inside and to polish this all off and get it really working we are going to play with a complete forward who is simply going to be on the default instruction so it's a nice front three a very good midfield and a composed back line with that sweeper keeper now let's go over to the team instructions but as you can see the Gagan press on the positive we have got a lot of things to change right now so we are going to go down to fairly narrow to kick things off we're going to pass into the space while playing out from the back with focus down the left and the right hand side on I've only gone with overlap right to really get the most out of Trippier I know he's not having a great season in real life but if you want to play like him in the game hopefully you can be the one to sort of get him playing again because when he's playing at his best he is a really good player shorter when it comes to the directness match with that higher tempo be more expressive and I personally went with whipped crosses in transition a few things to talk about of course we are going to be pressing we are going to be counter attacking and I've gone with take short goal kicks while playing to the centre back so if you really want to get the ball moving quickly in the default tactic, of course, use distribute quickly. Lastly, a little bit to talk about. This is going to remain the same. So that high defensive line with the high press and line of engagement. We're going to much more often when it comes to the trigger press. We are going to prevent short goalkeeper distribution. And we are also going to take this off, but add the trap outside instruction on. That's going to be a default tactic, but do stick around because you need these other two to really take into that safe. And now to that attacking variant to go and score more goals to get back into a game or if you are playing as a powerhouse you want to have a bit of fun you can actually go into your games like this as well so it is going to be a sweeper keeper on the support a complete wing back on the right on support on take more risks cross from the byline dribble more and run wide the fullback on the left is now going to be getting further forwards and sitting narrower still both of the ball playing defenders are going to be if you wish to on dribble more for me because this Newcastle team has a mixture of players that I feel comfortable doing that on the left hand side I have gone with dribble more but if you are playing as a powerhouse most likely both of your ball playing defenders are going to be quite good on the ball so you can have dribble more on both of them if you want to be somewhat safe like me have dribble more selected on one of them the register in the midfield is still going to be on support a box to box comes in on the right on shoot more often and get further forwards and next to him the Mazala is still going to be on a default because by default he's going to be very attacking anyway he's got five instructions and you don't really need to add anything on purely for the sake of it on the left we've got the winger on attack now on run wide with the ball again he has five instructions anyway he doesn't really need anything else and on the right hand side we've got that inverted winger now set to attack on roam and sit narrower while the complete forward goes from support to attack simply on the default but again the custom gagan press this time all the way set to attacking on fairly narrow pass into space overlap right focus down the left and the left hand side while playing out from the back again you can have overlap left on but i really am focusing on the right hand side with trippier banking on he gets back into form we're going to go with shorter when it comes to the directness we're going to max out the tempo we've been more expressive and we are not going to change we've got no reason to we're going to keep the whipped crosses in transition the only real change is the optional change i suggested to you earlier is going to be distribute quickly going to be selected with the previous counter counter press play to the center backs while taking short goal kicks and lastly out of possession of course it's not going to look like this we're going to go with the high press and line of engagement the high defensive line we're going to trap outside we're going to max out the trigger press and of course no reason to change it prevent short goalkeeper distribution is going to be selected now to defend those games and to defend those games out we're going to go down a bit more of a possession base a bit more of a time wasting sort of approach we've seen him do it in real life let's not hide the fact it's going to be a sweeper keeper simply on support a wing back on the right on support on run wide two default ball playing defenders with the fullback being simply on support no additional instructions required the register 
gets scrapped. We bring in a DM, simply on defend. Do your job, defend. Nothing too flashy. A central midfield player comes in on defend as well. So two of the three midfield players are going to be very defensively focused with the Mazala now dropping to support who by default has four custom instructions the winger on the left is going to be set to support on run wide and get further forwards and on the right is going to be the inverted winger on support on roam and sit narrower now the reason why I've not restricted the wingers as well is because the midfield and the back line have taken quite a bit of a defensive change we still want them being quite attacking which is why the complete forward also remains unchanged so again the custom Gagan press on the positive mentality going back to the positive we're going to go down to fairly narrow pass into space focus down the left and the right while playing out from the back with no overlap and options are going to be required in this system shorter the tempo is going to remain in the middle with time wasting being quite a big thing set to frequently play for set pieces with dribble less on and those whip crosses so we're now going to change the dna pretty much completely from being as aggressive to a bit more of a possession based team and when we can we're going to waste the time and also play for the set pieces and i will take this second to say download my set pieces as well because with those you've got to score a lot of goals purely from playing for them in transition a little a few things are going to be changed so the counter press is still going to be on we're not going to look to counter right away we're going to slow the pace down it helps for the time wasting they're going to play to anyone across the back line while taking short goal kicks because the four players at the back are going to be quite towards the goal now so we may as well be the safe option and play to anyone and of course we're going to slow the pace down helps for the time wasting and lastly we are going to deploy the high press line of engagement the higher defensive line much more often and prevent short goalkeeper distribution but that's going to give you a default version an attacking version and obviously the defensive version of this tactic let me know what you think of the more in-depth tactical breakdown actually explain them why i've chose him why i've chose that hopefully you like it if you like football you should do really be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and if you want to save yourself a bunch of time you can obviously sign up to the patreon and get all of those perks and obviously you've still i think i'll look at the date now you have actually got time to enter the giveaway still which is the equivalent of 200 and 50 pounds part gift card part sort of voucher which i will not leak what it is you can go and check it out in the description i'll see you in the next one